Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam and Max, the Devil's Playhouse, where we are inside Max's body in this random room called the Inventory Room, I believe, um, that's got all sorts of references to the previous games, um, the previous Telltale ones, Save the World and Beyond Time and Space, and also Hit the Road as well. Um, really, really cool. Enjoying looking at all this stuff. There's the bucket of fish. Ah, oh, I remember that old bucket of fish. Ah, things were so much simpler back then. Really? <laughs> Because I remember them being a lot more complicated. Well, it was a different kind of complexity. Yeah. And a lot longer, too. Plus, the voices were... Okay, Fate Max, <laughs> we get it. Different voice actors, of course. So, actually thinking about it, I wonder if each of these is a different reference. So, like, this is Hit the Worlds. Uh, hit the World. Hit the Roads, like, little section. This is Save the World, and this is Beyond Time and Space. I think that matches, actually, looking at the items. Yeah, season one stuff, there we go. Hey, I remember those cases with the thing and that other thing with the stuff. Yeah, don't sweat it, Sam. We don't remember any of that stuff either. <laughs> yes, we do. Brady Culture and his little hypnotist thing, which turned out he was not the ultimate bad guy. Um, we've got the roach farm and everything from Hit the Road. Um, we've got the car bomb game. That old game is from when we were going through our self-conscious, edgy, politically incorrect phase. <laughs> yeah, when did that stop, anyway? I'll let you know as soon as it does. Yeah, I was going to say, it didn't stop, did it? Um, ooh. Maximus. Is it heartwarming or creepy that Max keeps a shrine to his dead great-grandfather inside his own body? Uh, it's uh, probably a bit of both, to be honest. Okay, so there is all sorts of cool stuff in here. We sort of theorised that this is important, these spare cables, because um, we keep getting teleported away whenever we go near it, so... And also these balloons too, which could be useful to help Sybil. Um, but, I want to head back to the brain quickly, because some of you guys, uh, Lucas 2.0 and Microcat have asked me to go back to the brain and talk to the flaming Max head. So, we will do that before we crack on. The music in this room here is fantastic, by the way. It's got like a real sort of disco funk vibe and I'm really liking that. Um, yeah, brain, here we go. Actually, the music across the three seasons has just been brilliant. It really has. The only thing I wish is that the noir section in the previous, um, like a couple of episodes ago, lasted just a bit longer. It was really, really good, that little section of the game. Um, right, Flaming Max Head, where are you? You think I'm a nice guy, don't you? I'll turn to Max. Having problems with the ladies again, Sam. <laughs> Talk to me. Sybil says I don't appreciate what she's going through because I think her whole pregnancy and parenthood thing is weird. Ah, that's because it is weird. Abhorrent to the laws of God and man. Woman was not meant to lie down with statue. God. To suggest otherwise is blasphemy. You're right. I'm glad we had this talk, Pseudo Max. Anytime, Sam. Oh, and keep looking around the inventory room. Will do. And one more thing. Sleep. <laughs> All right. So I, th I think there's something about like. You think I'm a nice guy, don't you? I'll turn to Max. Having problems with the. Oh, okay, maybe it's not going to uh, say it. It's, it's, I think it's something about like what. And one more thing. What nightmares taste like or something? But maybe we've got to do that at the right time. I don't know. Um, we haven't been to the hand, have we? So let's go there. See what this is all about. We definitely need to help Sybil. I'm guessing the balloons are going to be the key there, but Max won't let us take those balloons. Ooh. It's like a game room. Another party member! Oh, this is going to be the best campaign ever! <laughs> oh, paperweight's here. Ah, there you are, Sam. Paperweight here believes he's found a way to control the creature's arm. Ah. Yes, we are standing on a network of neurotransmitters, and by forming biogenic connections between them, we can relay electrical impulses from dendrites in the brain to <laughs> muscle tissue. The tissues. short version, Poindexter. Yeah. I can step on these shapes to control the arms. Oh, God, okay, it's a lot of shapes. Great, like... let's get to it so we can pick up huge stuff. You'll have to activate the manual override first. The impulses come through that machine over there. Ooh, okay, this looks like a big game of Twister, doesn't it? Um, I've just noticed Paperweight shoes as well. I've never seen those before. <laughs> he is the uh, master of fashion, isn't he? Right, let's, um, let's have a look around here. So we've got, like, a, a pinball machine. Max Are you going to be helpful or just keep trying to make us go to sleep? I can be helpful right after I tell you about my latest campaign. 
It's called Assault on Crypt Death Grasp, and it takes place in the expanded Twisted Planes universe. Nice. One of my buddies from down in the pancreas was playing as an 18th level rogue, and he'd chosen a starting Snap trip. out of it, Sam! You must stay awake! Yeah, he's desperate to put us to sleep, isn't he? I think he gave us that line somewhere else as well. Oh, it's a dartboard. Is that the one from our office? A dartboard? Just in appearance, Sam. It's actually the center of the creature's hand-eye coordination. Clever. Well, that explains it. Max's depth perception has been off ever since he lost an eye in that whole laser tag misunderstanding. <laughs> All right, we've got Neon Max. Max's kidneys kept trying to get rid of that sign, but finally let him keep it as long as it wasn't in the living room. <laughs> Very good. Very good. All right, let's use the pool table. Hmm, billiards. That's it? You're looking at a pool table inside Max's body and you're not going to make any of the obvious jokes? Come on. Sorry, I already used up my quota for the year on our first case. <laughs> use use the jokes, Sam. Come on, use the jokes. So we've got a bookshelf here. We've got a couple of bookshelves. It's a bunch of whimsically outdated board games. And Galactic Despotic Dominion, the extended edition. Oh, that's an epic game of interstellar conquest with 7,000 highly detailed paintable miniatures. Oh, nice. A single game can last your adolescence. What are the rules? Oh, it's simple. First, you assign a color to every player. Then you shuffle the draw deck and the discard deck, dealing eight cards counterclockwise, starting with the player who most recently had his wisdom teeth removed. Then you choose a technical proficiency. Sounds like ten barrels of fire. <laughs> Uh-oh. Wake up. Sam, stay awake! Don't be fooled by his fiendishly boring scheme. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, I've, I've never got into, like, the painting miniature figures things, and it's probably just as well, because I tend to become really obsessive about things like that, and I would absolutely waste all of my money on it. Um, Lego is my thing. Like, I'm constantly getting new Lego sets, but I think if I fell down that rabbit hole of painting miniatures... Yeah. I, 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 let's not think about it. <laughs> let's not think about it. <laughs> anyway... Norrington. Maybe I should get on the board, and you guys read off the instructions. Well, I do have something of it at back. Nonsense. Paperweight's going to need all of my tentacles and various other appendages to have any hope of finishing this game. Are we going to see something horrific here? I feel like we might. <laughs> okay, let's try this thing. Max has got some nerve. Ooh, I want to play! Wait your turn, fake Max. It's time to watch a master at work. Three... This is pretty much the worst video game I've ever played. You have to read the command off the screen, Sam. I cannot see it from here. Left leg brass knuckles. His twister, okay. <laughs> Let me know if you need extra appendages, Paperweight. I have tentacles to spare. I guess the brain has stopped trying to work against us. I was concerned since we're so close to the speech center. This is going to be easy. I... All right, okay, so we have to manually choose these. Left hand bacon. Right foot full. Oh. oh. I didn't say that. Got it. He's using the ventriloquist power to change what we're doing. Are you sure that was right? Perhaps you should try again. This is going really well. Keep listening to what we <laughs> Of course. All right, so... We're not going to be able to do this, are we? I think the key is going to be getting him to that power plant or whatever it is so that we can interrupt the the psychic powers. That's going to be the key, isn't it? Which is going to involve Sybil. Um, but to do that, let's see if he'll say the thing now. You think I'm a nice guy? Uh, okay, he's just going to say the same uh, thing. Eight. Skip that. We'll do. And one. Yeah, sleep, sleep, sleep. Okay. Um, can we do anything with this at all? Ouch. We're not going to be able to take out this tumor until I get into the brain and throw that circuit breaker. Right, no, it's, defi it's definitely going to be the, um, the Sybil thing then. Um, so we've got that, we've got that. I don't know, let's try going, let's try going back to here. We'll try talking to Sybil again. But he's using the power, isn't he? So we're going to have to find a way of making Sybil trust us. Maybe Sybil's calmed down. Holy Mount Rushmore! Did she actually get bigger? <laughs> nice. That's gonna be a no then. Alright, so I've... Really? I, sorry, I didn't mean to click, click past that. 
I'm wondering then if we're going to have to get these balloons, because that is really the only thing I can think of at this point. Um, thank you. Didn't want to click the inventory, but I do want to go to this inventory. It's kind of weird to think of Max having an inventory after all this time. <laughs> He's never really had an inventory, has he, in this game? Uh, it's so weird the way it just nothing I love around. more than picking up stuff and carrying it around with me to use elsewhere. So this is going to be like Mardi Gras plus Christmas without the unwelcome nudity of either. You want to take anything out of here, you're going to have to fill out a requisition form. Wait, really? Nah, I'm just playing with you. What you really got to do is sleep. Okay, fine. Um, how can we... I mean, we've obviously got this that I think we probably need. Every time I think of that precious new life, I... Go on. Play your game without me. <laughs> I need a moment. Um... I mean, we can try and get this. And we can try and get the balloons, but we get teleported away every time. So... Uh, curse my lack of suction! Oh yeah, so he turns us into this. Uh. Can we do anything with this thing? Hey, watch it! Oh, we can like crash. <laughs> so he he didn't seem to like that we were crashing into that. You gotta bring the whole place down. Right? Do Whoops. we? Do we want to be doing that? Do we want to be bringing the whole place down? Doesn't look like we can crash into that. Doesn't look like we can crash into that. Ouch! So we can crash into... Maybe we've got to move this out the way so we can get to the balloons. Hey, watch it! No, it doesn't look like it. Ooh. Ah! That looks like it's wobbling the thing. What's happening? Oh god, are we going to, like, smash it? Hang on. Help me! <laughs> I feel bad. No, don't. Oops. Oh well. Any cockroach foster son of mine is plenty resilient enough to survive a good vacuuming. Oh my god. Please tell me it's still alive in there. What else can we crash into? Hmm. I mean, I'm hoping that just means that it's gone into our inventory or something. How, how do we? Ow. How do we turn back? I think then we have to. Like, try and go out the tube or something. <laughs> this is really difficult to control. <laughs> Whoops. Did we, did we just, like... Oh, maybe we clicked on it. Okay, <laughs> it's me trying to, like, manually drive into it. Alright, so we've got... We've potentially got a cockroach now, have we? We have indeed got a cockroach. It seems like only yesterday I watched him hatch, which is odd, considering it was only a few hours ago. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, so we've got these... Um, can we, like, use this with anything? What is that, a roach? Yeah. Ugh, gross. Well, I never. Don't give it to me, Sam. Take it outside and kill it. Why? Don't listen to her, Sam Jr. The Sam main lady Jr. is on heavy medication and doesn't know what she's talking about. Wait a second. You really do care about that roach, don't you? Ah. He's the promise of a future generation. Not that you'd ever understand. I think I underestimated you, Sam. You really do have the heart of a parent. And a real parent, not keeper of some yes! statue freak show. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Let's get moving and save Max. Nice. Okay, so we. Hallelujah, Sam Jr. Now that we've oh, look at our fellow life bringer, we can control Max's legs and haul his terrifying bulk across the length and/or breadth of the city. She's got, she's got some pace. Look at her go. Oh my God! Can we control Monster Max? Is that a thing? Sam, I'm picking up an unusual spike in brainwave activity from Max. Are you trying to take control of him? Uh. Yeah. We've got everything under control, Mama Bosco. Rescue team, assume giant max form go. Please tell me we actually get to like manually move him around. That would be like the best thing ever. Motor skills to full power. 
neurons and stuff aligned for transbasal plasmic shift or something. Release exhaust. Activate feet and legs. <laughs> Manual override. Why's he got hooves? <laughs> Activate hands and arms. Uh, Sam, you have not unlocked the arms yet. Oh, oh right. Well, we can still walk around and stuff, though, right? We suppose, if you don't mind shambling through the city, pointlessly smashing everything in sight. Oh, please tell me we can. Not to. Is that where we've got to go? Oh my god. This is the greatest thing ever. We actually get to move. Can we like smash things up? Please tell me we can smash things up. Where are we going, by the way? Oh, is this where we needed to go? This won't do us any good until we can control Max's arms. Right, so we need to control Max's arms. Oh my god, this is so, so good. All right then. Sam, my biosensors are detecting a drop-off in transmotor electrical impulses to the lower quadrant. I'll skip it. Do you want to keep controlling Max or not? Uh, no, let's stop for now. Let's go, I'm not going I'm home. Done. I want to go back. Oh, this is going to be so good. It's going to be so good. All right, guys. Well, we're out of time anyway, so we'll continue on next time. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Coumadin, Paul Leone, Flossie the Sheep, Jonathan Connolly, and Chrissy. And I'll see you next time where we're going to be playing as the giant monster Max.